Well, welcome back to the channel. Much appreciated for you joining me today. And it's very nippy out here today, but couldn't resist. I haven't been out on the bike for a while. Uh, yeah, had lots of test rides, lots of reviews. So thought it was about time I came out on the old Triumph. Uh, so let's jump on and we'll have a little discussion. Turn the old ignition on. And uh, main purpose of the video today really is to kind of talk about, well, several things really. Oh, she's ticking over a bit high there, actually. Oh, that's okay. We're going to talk about rider modes and electronics, you know. We'll leave it on, you can see there, rider. So, some of these you can only adjust when the bike's stationary. Once you get moving, you can't adjust them. But we'll leave it on, actually, we'll put it on rain at the minute. A little bit of a demonstration on... Uh, well, not demonstration, but... <laughs> very, very damp roads today. And, uh, yeah, no slippage of the rear wheel there. No traction control light flickering either. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> A little bit of slippage there on the rear wheel. That was on rain mode as well. So, uh... <laughs> just goes to show what you know what <laughs> what what help was that just then anyway there's enough of that there's probably a bit of mud on the road anyway I'm gonna go on the road rain sorry road sport we'll leave it on sport actually generally leave it on there but yeah what are your views on 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 rider electronics you know on on uh Sort of modern motorcycles do you prefer not to have them i know most bikes well pretty much all bikes now being euro 5 compliant have got obviously abs uh you know very various things they have to comply with but as far as rider aids go i mean this bike take this bike for instance triumph 765 rs street triple i think it's got six rider modes on here and do we really need all of that? Do we really need it? Bottom line, you know. And that's probably open for discussion. Let me know what you think. Do you think you need all of those rider aids? You just saw then, I mean, it's probably a bit of mud in the road, but I, I, I hardly touched the throttle there. And the back, the back wheel just kicked out. Uh, yeah, I mean... <laughs> I could understand why you have rain, you know, and sport and the track and the customizable settings, but it just makes me wonder really why why they need to have so many. But yeah, you know, they're, they're <coughs> obviously there for a reason. I mean, sport, full power, you've got the track mode, which is, uh, you know, full power. And I think what that will do is that will tone down your, your, tra your traction control, probably. Yeah, the user one is the, the customizable one. I'll just pull over here and we'll have a look. Uh, all right, so mode, sport track rider that's the customizable one as the rider and rain well, we were on rain a minute ago and uh yeah you just saw what happened <laughs> probably some uh, we'll try road oh go round again rider rain road i'll have a bit of that there you go i do generally leave it on on sport like i just said I want to see if I notice any difference at all in you know, whether it's changed the map once we get a bit of a, a bit of a uh, sort of comparing it to the uh, to the sports setting. So you've got to be a little bit careful. <laughs> Keep the shiny side up. 
Oh, yeah, and again there, the back wheel just kicked out. But, uh, well. The, I mean, the back wheel, I mean, sometimes when the back wheel kicks out, it, it, it seems a lot worse than it actually is. It could just be a little, a tiny little slide, but. I'm not noticing any difference there between the the road and the sport mode. I actually opened it up earlier in in uh, rain mode and, and the, the front end came up. <laughs> yeah, the front end was hovering. So it makes you wonder whether there's actually that much. That's the rear wheel again slipping once I open her up. I mean yeah, yeah I'd, I admit there is a bit of mud but I'm trying to avoid trying to avoid that. <laughs> there you go. Not really, to be honest, notes on any any major difference there. Now let me know what you think. If you got one of the uh, Triumph 765 RS, and you know you, what 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 do you leave it in? Do you use these modes? Do you use them all, or are you like, are you just like me and leave it in, in the old sport mode? Yeah, just a short little video there anyway. And uh, yeah, take care. Hopefully, I'll see you on the next video. See ya.